is America. Childish Gambino's This Is America has become an overnight cultural phenomenon, and it's definitely the kind of video you have to watch more than once. Throughout the piece, Gambino plays the complex role of America herself, from violence to the use of entertainment as a distraction. He's playing both the caricature and the ringleader. The internet was quick to pick up tons of hidden messages that were scattered throughout the video. Here's some that you might have missed. The first scene opens up on a black man walking up to a guitar in an empty warehouse. He looks a lot like Trayvon Martin's father, but contrary to popular belief, it's actually LA artist Calvin II. Gambino comes into view wearing pants and shoes that Twitter users have linked to old Confederate uniforms. He's also wearing two small gold chains, a double entendre for physical bondage and obsession with consumerism. He dances with exaggerated movements and facial expressions. He moves closer to the seated man, who no longer has his guitar and has a bag covering his head. This is America. The song's first bridge talks about how entertainment media is serving as a distraction from bigger issues at hand. The girl here represents America, and the frame here represents real-life injustices that are happening. Shaking the frame distorts and blurs what's really going on. Dear White People creator Justin Simeon was quick to point out on Twitter that the movements and expressions Gambino does seem to be modeled after Jim Crow. This caricature was commonly used as a reference in minstrel shows in the 18 and 1900s where white actors would perform in blackface and act out black stereotypes. Listen here, you won't let me speak. Don't you know Swanee River is a dried up creek? Come on and carry me home. Many also noted that aside from dances from viral videos, one specific dance they're doing is the Guara Guara, which originated in South Africa. This could be a possible nod to similarities between racism in America and South Africa's apartheid. On the flip side, some have interpreted the dancing as a method of survival. The dancers are dancing with Gambino, who's playing America, and they're never injured. Many on Twitter have cited that America has a tendency to applaud for black culture while turning their backs to the issues we face. Whether the dancing is used to numb the pain, gain social media followers, or simply survive, his movements are a literal and figurative distraction from the chaos in the background. The hooded man riding the white horse seen here is a biblical symbol for the apocalypse. The only elements of the video that shock you out of Gambino's trance-like movements is the shootings. At face value, the murders are nods to modern day American gun violence. The second verse is preluded with a happy choir who's gunned down by Gambino. It's impossible not to draw parallels with the Charleston church shooting, which was found to be racially motivated. But a slightly less noticeable symbol was the care in which the guns were handled after each shooting. The guns were wrapped in red cloth with care. Many online have inferred that this represents how red America values guns over human lives. While all this violence is taking place in the warehouse, which looks eerily similar to a prison, Gambino says, This is selling. That's cool. This could have a double meaning. One, how cell phones are being used as tools to document this brutality, or two, celly could mean cell block, a commonly used tool to unjustly keep blacks in a cycle of incarceration. The final scenes of the video show Gambino and SZA surrounded by old, stagnant American cars, still inside the closed-off warehouse. Twitter was quick to point out that this scene represents lack of progression and forward movement. The video ends with Gambino running like hell, doing everything in his power to escape. It's as if he snapped out of America's spell and is doing everything he can to find a way out. Are there any other hidden messages we might have missed? Let us know in the comments below.